Hello, hello, hello. My name is Karen Dawn, and today we are going to be playing around in our art journals using stamps, stencils, and masks. There's a few supplies you're going to want to gather, so those are the things I'm going to cover first. Now, I'm going to be using a couple of different colors of craft paints. I have some in the red hue, and I have some in the green and bluish area. And I also have some basic black and white. I'm going to start off scraping them on to my background using an old gift card. And then I'm going to be using some of these, what I like to think of as texture stencils. They just create texture on your pages and a texture tool as well. We're going to be using wax paper and low tack painter's tape to create a mask using a stencil. And then we're going to use some of the washi tape as a mask to create a decorative border. So let's get started. I like to start off by just getting some color down on my page. This is super quick and super simple. And for me, it helps to avoid that, that blank page feeling. And then the next thing that I do is I'm going to add a little bit of texture to it here and there. For this next part, I'm going to take a stencil and I'm going to make a mask out of it. I'm going to be using a piece of wax paper that has some blue painter's tape. Now the trick here is you want to make sure that you put down layers of tape that overlap themselves. If they don't overlap, your mask will fall apart. Once you have your tape down, then you're ready to draw on your item that you're going to mask. And in this case, I'm going to be using a stencil, but you could use a magazine image or just freehand something. There's a couple of different birds here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw them both on here, but I may only use one. For me, I found that my pen showed up a lot easier on the back side of the wax paper. And it really doesn't matter which side you draw on because you're just going to be using this as guides to cut out. Before I put my bird down, I'm going to give it a place to rest. And I just so happened on my stencil, I had a branch, but I could have easily drawn this. And I decided that instead of using my mask right off, I'm actually going to use that one that I had drawn just as a stencil. You'll see how the mask comes in later. And one of the interesting things that I'm doing here is I'm going to layer stencils. So I have my stencil down and I have my bird and now I'm going to lay down another stencil on top of it with a different color paint to create a texture. Now I have this water brush and it is filled with permanent ink and it is a really wonderful tool for working on recently painted surfaces because you're not going to ruin it. If you do end up getting a gob of paint on the tip, you can just brush it off on the side. I'm giving the branch a little dark underline. And then I'm going to put another color on top as if the sun is shining on it. Next, I'm taking some washi tape. Now this is like painter's tape. It's a low tack tape, so it's going to pull up easily. And 
I'm not leaving it on, although you could if you wanted to, but I'm going to be using it as a mask in this case. And I'm just creating a little border on this. I'm taking my brayer, just some of the leftover paint on my palette, and rolling it over the top of that washi tape, and a little bit here, and a little bit there. While that's drying, I'm going to do a little bit more stenciling in the background. And I'm going to put down some white because it's going to stand out more. And I'm going to do another stencil at the bottom using black. This is really going to add some contrast. Whenever you add black and white on top, it's really going to set things off. Now it's time to pull up that washi tape. So the washi tape masked off those areas that I painted over. Going back to my stencil adding some some leaves and bringing back out my brush pen and enhancing that pattern that I have on the side really bringing it out now I'm just using a stamp just adding a little bit more texture to the bottom that's not really going to show up that much but I just thought it needed a little bit more. Now I'm going to bring back that wax paper with the masks that I drew on there and cut them out. I'm going to peel the wax paper from the tape. This is why you want your those pieces of tape to overlap. I'm going to put that on my page and then take my cosmetic sponge that I was using for my stencil and I'm kind of creating like a little shadow around it. I'm going to paint back in some of the branch that got taken out by that shadow that I put down. And peel off the mask. I can bring that bird out a little bit more by outlining it with my brush pen. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.